the match I thought I'd never see. Nicky Monroe against, yes, versus Klondike Kate. Something happened at the end to end this friendship. They've got a score to settle now. And they're fighting each other. Two falls, two submissions or the knockout to decide. And already Nicky's starting to command this match. On top already. Well, threatening to put the boot in and this this is the thing. Do you think she can stick to the rules? She's certainly not used to sticking to the rules, but she's got to behave herself now. She's actually too hot bloody, she won't stick to the rules. She'll put the boot in somewhere. <laughs> Nicky Monroe, the good-looking girl from Bournemouth. She looks at the referee and that's the end of round one. So what, what did happen, Paula? What happened to cause this match to take place? You mean to tell me you don't know? I don't You're know. You're actually asking me something? You've heard no uh, back dressing room chat? No one's told me anything. I've been back to the dressing room area. No one's speaking. What went on? Ah, well, this is the beauty of me being a woman and allowed in the ladies' dressing rooms. Mind your own business. Round two, then. But I can tell you this much. It was that bitch Nicky Monroe's fault. Well, we certainly have to find out exactly what went on there. I'll try and find out and let you know a little bit later in this match if we can find out. What do you mean, if you can find out? You was there on the night. I was there on the night, but I don't know why these two have fallen out now. They were in tag team formation, they performed well together, all action style, and suddenly... She turned against her partner. Well, they were both disqualified, is that what you mean? Because they were disqualified. No, because it was Nikki's fault. Kate was disqualified, Nikki was disqualified, the team collectively was thrown out of the ring. I'm telling you, it was Nicky's fault. And this is the reason for this match now. And Kate's gonna kill her. Yeah. Actually, I had a word with Kate in the dressing room. And what did she say? She is going to kill her. And I said, if that be the case, do it. In style, Kate, in style. Now, Nicky Monroe will have other ideas, of course. Monroe, she really has got a match on her hands because these former tag team partners, obviously they're going to know each other's moves, they're going to know each other's style. What can you do to take the other one by surprise? Plowing him with the fist there, referee Chico Roberts not liking that. It didn't hurt Kate, it didn't hurt her at all. She'll be up. She gets a public warning for it. She deserves it. But Kate, very tough. It does take a lot to uh, hurt this lady. So she's got the fist up now. She's Don't you think it's only up in self-defence, though? She's not. She's nowhere near her. She's not touching her. But surely she's in self-defence. Surely she just put the fist up, saying, "Don't come near me, or else." The fists are up there for protection. I don't think so. To prove that she can mix it as well. Nikki's quite prepared to wrestle, but will Kate give her the chance? Nikki's not prepared to wrestle. Now that was a fist right in front of us here. We saw that. I didn't see it. But you wouldn't, would you? No, I wouldn't. You forget, I once tagged with um, Klondike Kate. Oh, yeah, well, you tagged with her, so they have you on the same side now. But surely you can see now while watching it here at ringside. But when the fists go in, that's not allowed. Listen, are you trying to say that she's being dirty? She's wrestling dirty? That's exactly what I'm trying well, to say. Well, I'm telling you, she's just a very excitable wrestler, that's all. Nothing more. She's very experienced, she's got the power, she's got the strength. She doesn't need all these underhand tactics. Actually, it's not underhand, it's the palm of the hand. Look, the biting as well. 
She's winning absolutely no friends here. They both entered the ring, both out to get each other. You can see, she's number one. Yes, 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 Kate, go on, you tell them all. Do you think she's bothered about friends? The only thing she's bothered about is a pocket. Give me the money. Send in the girls, I'll kill them. Give me the money. Winning at all costs. Yeah. At all costs. The problem is, though, she goes ahead like this with everybody she tags with. She's going to have no partners left to go into tag team action with. Now, you're all about to tell me she can win on her own, aren't you? She can win on her own. Against two people. I see, I didn't even have to tell you that, did I? And you did forget one thing. What was that? She's got me. And I'm a true friend, a true tag partner. I would turn my back just because we we didn't win. So again, it's all Nikki's fault for Oh yes. For squealing, for being for getting out from a day. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Or the ring, as the case may be. Up for the backbreaker. Yes. That's the first score. Oh, she broke it. First score of the match to Klondike case. This excitable lady from the Potteries now lives in Liverpool and travels over a thousand miles a week to the fill engagement. And there's Nikki from Bournemouth. Just how much damage has been done to the back there? She seems okay. She can take the knocks. She's got a lot more to take yet before the bout's finished. Again, a pressure point hold there just by the neck. Kate's got fingers like bananas. She'll never get out of that. Whenever Kate enters the ring, she always goes into a favourite tune, Another One Bites the Dust. I think that's a fitting piece of music to go into the ring by. Absolutely. And she goes in with the attitude, they are going to bite the dust. Very clever little kick there that we almost missed from Nicky. Well, you don't miss much, do you? Hey? There we go again in the ropes. You thought she would have learned the first time not to get too close to those ropes. Now, can you see that Chico allowing her to get away with that? Well, he's having blatant fists. He's giving her a warning about it. Referee Chico Roberts warning not to go in the fist, of course, not allowed in wrestling. He's not giving her a public warning, it was a private warning. She'll let that smirk right off her face when she gets out of those ropes. She was spitting ivory for a week. Paul Klondike hell in boots, but she is in trouble. Not for long. You know what they say? Hell hath no fear. Well, of course, being caught in the ropes there cuts off the circulation to the arm, so that's going to be painful in itself. And Monroe goes over and puts her back in the other side. Well, you sound pleased about that. Well, don't you think there's a bit of just desserts going on here? No, I most certainly don't. As I told you, it was that bitch's fault in the first place. But it's Kate here that's doing most of the skullduggery, most of the blindside tactics. You just don't like Kate, do you? I'm just trying to be fair. Obviously, you're going to be on her side right throughout this match. What do you mean, what obviously? It what? wasn't her fault in the beginning. She's offered a hand there, a hand of friendship. So what's Nikki supposed to do now then? Does she shake hands? Take the hand. Take the hand and be partners again, good partners. But is Kate up to one of her plans? We know how clever and how cunning and sly. What do you mean, sly? 
She is. She's cunning, she's sly, a real vixen of the ring. She has a plan. I'm sure she has a plan. Hope you realise that when she gets out of that, that ring, I'm going to tell her exactly what you said. That's the end of that round. Can you please start my car so I can make a quick getaway? But what can you do? Nicky Monroe not entirely certain how to handle this match. And look! Straight across she comes. That's my girl. Go into it, girl. That's the hand Go of for the kill. The hand of friendship. That was a, that was a foot of death. She actually refused the hand, so she got the order of the boot. No second chances then with Klondike Cage. You get one chance to shake hands. Nikki's in trouble. Nikki just back from a recent tour of Berlin. She did very well over there. I'm pretty certain she's regretting coming back to these shores. Oh, no doubt about that, I can assure you. Both these girls very experienced, been in wrestling nearly 10 years, started very, very young. And what can you do against someone you know so well? Getting the full leverage with that leg. Referee Chica Roberts right there, should Nicky Monroe. Break the arms, break the arms, Kate, break them! Neat move there. Lucky, lucky move, lucky move. Lucky move, she planned that. Down on the cover. No, no. And she's got it. She hasn't got it. Her foot was under the ropes. Hey, I didn't see it. No, you wouldn't, would I didn't you? See it. Well, we'll have another look at it then. We'll have a look and see if we can spot a foot, foot under the ropes. Her foot was under the ropes. The referee's happy with it. And that's all that counts. And Nicky Monroe gets the equaliser by way of a fall cover press. Yeah, she cheated on it. Right, let's just have another look then and see if you can see that foot under the ropes. Down goes Kate, turns over. Foot under the ropes. Close, but the referee looked right there, he's allowing it, the equaliser. Yeah, he's biased as well. He's just as biased as you are. I was happy, the referee was happy, the MC was happy, everyone at ringside saw that was a perfectly legal move. Uh, uh, I, I, I said the foot was under the ropes. I saw it wasn't a legal move. The fact that you... There's 20 stones of power coming down on that leg. These two top of the bill ladies wrestling all over the country. Very popular in the United States of America, but only in the last 10 years or so has it really taken off in this country. And the fans come in to see these two titans of the ring. Titans or Amazons? Oh. Amazons, I think that's a good word. Well, it's one each. The next one, of course, is the one that decides. Certainly, certainly, Paul, and no love lost between these two. Absolutely not. Now, that's what you call a foot on the road. I said on the not on. The foot's further over this time than it was last time. And illegal. Not in the rules of wrestling. And of course, that's done no good to Nikki's leg. That's weakened it considerably. Kate and I are actually hoping that it's broke. And she's given in, yes! 
That's what I call poetic justice. So it's a win in suspicious circumstances once again for Klondike Kate, who triumphs over her old tag partner, Nikki Monroe. An extra sweet bit of success there.